In this video, I'm going to show you how to import red raw footage into Adobe Premiere and adjust some of those raw settings like your ISO, your white balance and other settings that you can find in Premiere. So let's get into it. So once you've opened up Adobe Premiere Pro, we first want to begin by going into the Media Browser tab. Now it's really important that when we import our footage, we go through the Media Browser rather than just dragging and dropping our footage because RED cameras work by breaking up longer videos into four gigabyte chunks. That means a long video may have potentially 50, 60 different video clips for just that one video that you captured and importing via the Media Browser Essentially, it stitches all of those clips into one video. It's pretty intelligent. And if you don't do it this way, then it's just going to add a headache later on. So moving on, we're going to go into the media browser, choose a hard drive of your choice. Then you want to choose the folder where your footage is sitting, go into red, go into your folder. And as you can see, you've got all of that native red footage just sitting there ready to go. So what you want to do is you want to select all or a specific clip. It's up to you. I'm going to select this one here. We'll right click and press import. Now that is going to import into your project window. And that is just down here. If we double click, we can see that footage right here. But of course, if you right click and select new sequence from clip, then that is going to be added into our clip. And now we can go ahead and start editing this footage. But the problem is if you film this in raw, how do you access your ISO and your white balance and all of your other raw settings? So what you want to do is you want to select your clip and you want to go up to, to your effect controls and you'll see motion. Now next to the motion tab, you'll see this master tab, select the master tab and all of your red source settings are going to be found here. So scrolling down, we've got image pipeline, IPP2 or legacy. We've got some denoising here. We've got decoding. We've got the primary color space. So we can choose the red, white, gamut RGB. We've got a specific gamma curve. You can change your ISO here by selecting an ISO of your choice. It's completely up to you. Then we can move down to exposure. Then you've got your Kelvins and your Kelvins is your white balance. So 5500 is daylight, uh, 3200 is more of a tungsten light, or of course you can take this to an absolute extreme, 10,000 and that's going to max out at 9,400. That's completely up to you there. Then you go down to tint and you can make this more green, you can make this more purple. It's completely up to you, but just adjusting the tint is a great way of salvaging some shots. You can import a creative 3D LUT here, but I would rather edit with LUT later on with adjustment layers, so I avoid this. Then you've got the color decision list, and this is basically where you can adjust specific colors. You can do the global, so that's going to affect red, green, and blue. Or you can go ahead and you can affect specific colors in the power, slope, and offset. Then, of course, you've got your curves, and if you've color corrected in Premiere before, you know how curves work. You've got your highlights and you've got your shadows. And of course, that's on the RGB and then the specific red, green and blue channels as well. So that's how you edit your red footage. And then when it comes to color grading, I find it's best to stack with different adjustment layers. So to begin with, I like to use a red IPP2 conversion to Rec 709 LUT. Bit of a mouthful, I know. But I downloaded this from the red website itself. So I do new item, adjustment layer, okay. We drag that adjustment layer onto video layer two, we'll go into effects, search for Lumetri color. We'll drop Lumetri color onto the adjustment layer, go to basic correction, input LUT, browse. So red creative LUT, red IPP2 creative combined with Rec 709 output transform. And there's a million and one different LUTs here, but I like to use red base, and instantly that's going to add a load of contrast and it's going to convert that red log footage, that red raw footage into something more familiar like Rec 709. And if it's a little bit too intense, you can always pull the opacity of this down. It's completely up to you. And then from there, what I like to do is add another adjustment layer. And then this is where we can get creative and add our creative LUTs. So we go effects, Lumetri color, drag that onto video layer three. Go into basic correction, browse, 
And from here, you can go ahead and find LUT that you're using. So I'm a big fan of the LUTify LUTs. So I go into 3D LUTs, Red IPP2. And then we've got movie inspired, alternative, contemporary, skin tone, black and white, cinematic base grade, teal and orange, cine looks, instant films, vintage films. So I can select any one of these and I can tone the effect down by using this opacity slider. And then if I wanna do any specific secondary color correction, so if I just wanna select a specific tone, I can do so by adding another adjustment layer, but I'll put this one on video layer three and putting that overall one on video layer four. So I'll add this adjustment layer onto video layer three. We'll go into effects and drop Lemetri back onto this. Then we'll go into HSL secondary and we can select a specific color tone. So we'll select the color of this wood, for example. So we'll go for a red to begin with and then we'll move the shoe slider making sure that only the specific color that we want to affect is selected. So anything black and white is gonna be ignored. Anything in color is going to be affected here. You can adjust the saturation to get more of a match and then same with the lightness. But once you're happy with the selection, you can go down into your color wheel and you can add some color tinting to those specific colors. Or you can adjust the temperature of that color add some tint, contrast, sharpen, saturation. It's completely up to you, but that is how I like to color correct and color grade red footage. So I start off with video layer two with a red to rec 709 conversion LUT. Next up, we've got the HSL secondary color, and this is where I'm adjusting specific color tones. And then the top layer is our overall creative LUT, and this is what's giving us that cinematic look. So there you go. That is how you import your red footage into Premiere access all of the red raw settings, and then how to do a basic correction with some LUTs inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. And there you go. I hope this video was of some help to you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. And I will see you on the next video. See you there.